I don't even know where to start with this video. It's been so long and I feel like I have so much to update you all on. Like since the last video, I think the last video was filmed like two or three months ago. And honestly, like so much has changed. It's like I have a completely different life right now. <laughs> but I guess I'll start by saying hello and welcome back. And it is episode four of the Next Level series. So this episode is going to be just a big update basically on what's been going on. Um, I know I've been quiet on here. Um, YouTube is hard work. <laughs> I don't get how people can do this like every week, like filming stuff all day is tiring. But yeah, this episode is just going to be just a big update really on my life because a lot has changed. I will update you on prep. Um, a lot has changed in prep. Things are finally, finally moving. Um, as you'll as you'll know from if you watched the last video, I was a bit not very happy with how things were going. Um, it was all very slow. Nothing was really happening, um, and it was just not in a good place. But now things have changed. Things are moving up, and. Yeah, I'm in a much better place than I was in previous videos, so I'm hoping I'll keep it that way. Um, I will say I wanted to film this clip at the beginning of the day and then obviously film throughout the day, um, but I didn't have time. So it's actually the end of the day, but what you're going to see in the video is just the full day. So I have my nails done, which you'll see in a bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just a big update. I'm just going to take you through a day in the life, sort of. Um, and yeah, so sit tight because I have a lot to update you on. So I've had to write a list <laughs> because so much has changed and I know I would forget. So I've literally just listed down everything that has kind of gone on and everything that I think I should update you on. So list on the list, number one, life update, new job. So on that, I fully jinxed my whole life in one of the episodes where I said, oh yeah, it's a balancing act. You can prep and do a nine to five job. Yeah, that jinxed my whole life because about a month ago now, um, out of the blue, I just lost my nine to five job. So I was unemployed for a little bit, um, which was not good. It was quite a stress, obviously, literally just told on a Monday, you can pack your bags, you can go, we'll pay you till Friday and that's it. So a little bit stressful, but I have always said, everything happens for a reason and what's meant to be will be. So now, fast forward a month, I am working in a gym, PTing. I currently have about 11 clients paying already. Um, it started off very, very well. My life has gone from a nine to five, boring office job where I'm not happy. I'm just going through the motions of every day, just same old, you know, nothing exciting to now actually doing a job that I've always wanted to do. And honestly, like I, I generally right now, I couldn't be happier with what I'm doing. So yeah, it's everything has happened for a reason. So I'm now, I work at Anytime Fitness in Solihull, um, just down the road from me. It's a really nice little gym. So I actually work there as part of like the sales team. And then I also PT from there. So it is literally, my second home right now. I'm there pretty much all the time. <laughs> but if you are local to Solihull and you need a PT, then PT with Lucy. <laughs> but yeah, it's going really, really well and I honestly couldn't be happier. So in that sense, work-wise, I'm in a much better place. And to be honest, PT and working in the gym is always something that I've wanted to do. But I thought 
I know it's not like the most secure job. So I always thought I'll start PT next year when I'm a pro bodybuilder, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'll start PT next year when I know I won't be competing next year. Um, and then while I have like a steady job and I can build it up that way, but that plan failed. So I just thought, just jump straight in, do what I want to do and yeah, so couldn't be happier. So work-wise, all good. <sighs> Next on the list. So an update basically kind of with life. So I will be the first to admit that when it comes to prep life, I, when I'm prepping, I'm in prep mode and normal life goes out the window and it's just prep and I don't like to do anything else. A lot of people are fine with still going out and doing social things and all of this, but for me, when I'm prepping, I am just very focused on prep. But I decided I can still kind of live like a normal person and still achieve what I want to achieve. Um, I've just got to kind of push myself and not be so lazy. Um, so I did a normal life thing, and this doesn't sound like a big update, but for me, it is. So we went to see, me and my boyfriend went to see Michael Bublé. Bit random, but it was nice. It was like our first date night, date day, whatever we've had for ages. And honestly, like, do you know when you feel like genuinely happy? Like I felt genuinely happy for the first time in a very long time. And it kind of just made me realize that I do get a bit lazy with prep. Like prep is selfish and you know, it is very, you've got to focus on what you're doing. And I always say, if you're going to do it, you've got to give it your all. But then I think I did start like putting that too much in my focus and just forgetting that, you know, normal life does exist. And I do have people that care a lot about me and I can make the effort and not be so not lazy, but just more out there. So that's just a little random update. Um, but it was cool, it was at Warwick Castle. Um, it's kind of like, there was 15,000 people. Like, I'm not a people person. That's a lot of people to be around if you're not a people person, but it was good. So now for the important prep update. I still have my notes here. <laughs> so as you're know if you've watched previous videos that my prep got off to a pretty rubbish start i wasn't in a very good place i was very stressed things just weren't moving um body weight literally stayed the same for like nine or ten weeks so you can imagine how frustrating that was and to be honest i very nearly got to a point of being like what why am i doing this and I know things must have been bad for me to be like that because you are, you like, I make it clear how important this is to me and how much I want to achieve things. Um, and I really did get to a point of just thinking like, it's not worth it. Um, so I was very, very stressed and just think, it was just felt like one thing after another, like weight wasn't moving, I was stressed, I got ill, like, little bit of a car crash like that was just like the icing on the cake basically <laughs> that just was like come on surely nothing else can happen um but now very very happy with how things are going um the last couple of weeks really has just been where the biggest changes have happened um so i'll show you the last check-in that i posted on here and then compared to today's check-in which is today is the 20th of july i think we're in july um yeah so i'll compare those and you can you'll obviously be able to see the difference in all of these pictures like yeah you can just see like my waist is finally coming in the details are coming my shoulders massive <laughs> i wish but yeah changes are definitely happening and now it is getting exciting um, there's been a slight change of plan with my shows. So originally I was doing the 27th of August, um, the JT Grand Prix, which is the show I did last year and won the sword at. Um, here's a picture just to remind you. <laughs> um, 
but I'm now gonna just do a later show. It's only a couple of weeks later, but I just, I know I wouldn't be ready in time for that first show. And it's just a couple of extra weeks just give me that time to just, you know, like go into it smoother and just not stress. Um, so yeah, so this is today's check-in and I'm very, very happy. Like things are all coming together now and I'm, I'm happy you can definitely see an improvement in the muscles overall like i know for a fact already that i'm gonna bring a fuller look this time and it's gonna just be a much better look it's just taken a lot more work this time than last time um but then that's kind of what motivates me more because i just keep thinking like the day when i finally am stepping on stage knowing that i've overcome a million and seven different things that life has decided to throw at me this prep that I haven't given up. I've still shown up every day. I've done whatever I needed to do every single day. And just that feeling of knowing that I'm on that stage and I've got through it all, like that's just what's motivating me. And I know how bad I want this. And regardless of how things go, like I'm still proud of doing it and just not giving up because it has been hard. It's been way harder than my first prep. Um, lots of different reasons but you know it's it's been a challenge and I think this year because I have set my goals high this year I've made it clear that I want the next level I want that pro card and I want it this year and it's taken a lot of work to get there but I've, I've set that goal now and that's the marker that I'm going for and I have put a lot of pressure on myself and especially filming it all and documenting it all you know that is a lot of pressure but i always say you've just got to back yourself and i know if i really really want to i can make it happen and i will make it happen so yeah that's kind of it really but i guess what a lot of people don't think about when you're like prepping is it's so easy to there's so many different factors that can affect prep. And I think one thing people kind of don't really take into account as much is like how much stress can affect things. So me being very stressed at the beginning of my prep meant my body wasn't responding to anything. The more I tried to push it, the more it was fighting. And then all we did was I rested from the gym. I just took a bit of time out a bit of a step back from everything and just actually allowed my body to recover more and you know it just it just needed a bit more like TLC this time but then now I'm in a position where I'm able to push again and I'm ready to push again and you know we've got seven and a half weeks now and I'm in a good place I'm not letting any stress get to me I'm not you know not losing sight of what I want this time and I will do it and I'm going to get there and you're all going to come along with me and hopefully the day will come when it's Lucy Lionel pro bikini. So, yeah. <laughs> I think, just checking off the list, that's kind of it really for the update. Um, yeah. Say I've probably missed loads because, as I say, a lot has changed, a lot has gone on. I just feel like I have a completely different life right now. But yeah, it's uh, it's all getting exciting now. Things are in a very, very good place. I'm very excited to push. I think this is the fun part. So get ready because some interesting things are going to happen soon, I hope. And yeah, so as I say, I filmed this clip on the evening, so all the clips you're going to see, I've lived that day already. <laughs> but it's just a day in the life of really, and yeah, so I hope you enjoy. No, I've spoke for a long time, so if you're still watching, thanks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it from me right now. <laughs> a black coffee with toffee flavour drops. So a toffee coffee, and if you know you know also me and my boyfriend have matching mugs because 
it is cute like that. <laughs> Tell me you're a bodybuilder without telling me you're a bodybuilder. You've got the cream of rice stack. <laughs> the protein stack. The food and the supplements. All here. This is my, uh, my little cupboard of the kitchen. Obviously, tripod. The good stuff. My mom's going to kill me because she thinks this looks a mess. So she's going to hate that I just put this on my YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, the life of a bodybuilder. So I do 45 minutes on a rest day now and 40 minutes cardio on my upper training days. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so 40 minutes on that upper days. At the moment there's no uh, cardio on lower body days because we're just trying to keep energy as high as I can to go into the sessions. Um, but yeah, 45 minutes of stairs. Um, I'd like to say it went quite quick. But right now, I feel a bit dead. But I like the feeling after. So that's just what I keep thinking when I go, when I'm stepping. Step by step, one step closer to where I want to be. But yeah, I'm done. As you can see, sweaty. He's literally dripping like <laughs> oh god, that's a little bit disgusting, I'm gonna have to clean this, but yeah, it's not meant to be easy. I think now I'm pushing a bit more, and I always think, oh god, sweat is like dripping in my eye. Ow. Yeah, I always say, it's not meant to be easy, when it gets hard, that's not hard, so just keep pushing, future you. Well, thank you. So I've just been to get my nails done, as you can see. I'm really not a very girly girl, like hair, makeup, all of that, like it's not me. But my nails are the one thing that I will always treat myself to. So I always have to have nice nails. I've gone for a colour, gone for blue, as you can see. I always have like the same colour, I'm boring. I like nudie colours. <laughs> but yeah, um... I kind of use my rest days to just, I never rest, well I, well I try and rest but I'm always busy, but I use my rest days to just do like all the little jobs I don't really have time for other days because I am quite busy, um, but yeah my rest days are just my days to get stuff done, so I did my cardio, got my nails done and I've actually got an appointment at the osteopath um in a bit so she's just gonna crack me back into place but honestly the lady i see i can't recommend enough like she fixes me all the time um she's just amazing like she'll literally look at me and be like yep that's a bit out of line cracks me into place and we're good to go like it's crazy but um yeah so osteopath later and then i'm just back in the gym uh pting for the rest of the day um so yeah, so not a bad day really. I have a brand new car. Well, I say brand new. It's quite an old car, but it's a new car. Um, but it's ideal. And obviously the first thing I did was get the sparkly steering wheel and get my sparkles in. But let me show you. Oh, sorry. Let me show you, I think, probably one of the best things that I have bought. I mean, if this isn't the best thing I've ever spent my money on, then I don't know what is <laughs> but look at the little bear it's so cute some might say a waste of money but others might say and they would be right in saying well worth the money so it's half eleven I think half 11 i'm back home i was gonna do like 
a full day of eating but then I realized it's so boring because all I eat is this is meal one looks a bit gross but it's what it is um meal one so on a rest day there's not much carbs involved in it so it's literally turkey mince and veg meal two is chicken and veg meal three chicken and veg meal four chicken and potatoes and then meal five is 50 grams oats and then on a training day it's basically exactly the same but pre-training i have cream of rice and then post-training i have chicken and rice um so it's really not very interesting to be honest but i always try and i like having a plan on prep and i like sticking to the meal plan just for that structure and just it's just easy and i said to kieran that when he did my plan I don't care if I'm eating chicken five times a day I just want it to be simple and you don't have to overcomplicate things just something that you're gonna stick to um but yeah so it's half 11 this is meal one um I always try and wait out my first meal on my rest days because I don't have much food so I don't want to eat too early um but yeah I just try and wait it out and then sleep as early as I can because <laughs> I get hungry, but yeah, I'm absolutely starving now, to be honest, so I'm going to eat this, and yeah, I will catch you in a bit. Just check out the, the cool top. So, uh, just going to go and PT now, so I've just got two PTs left, so I'm going to walk to the gym. This, I'm going to say it. This is the ultimate favourite, and then I'm going to rank watermelon, I'd say second, and then this might be a controversial one, but the apple one, I'm a fan of the apple one, but team mango all the way. These are literally like, I probably have one a day, I've tried to cut down on it, but most days I have a monster, it just gets me through. But yeah, so gonna go PT, walk there, and then that's it really, kind of done for the day. Um, as I say, my rest days are quite, I try and stay quite active on my rest days, um, because I just get bored and prep. If I'm just sitting around, I just wanna eat. So I gotta keep busy. <laughs> I always think it's a good idea to walk to the gym. So I walk to the gym just because I need, I do like 15,000 steps a day. So it just like kills two birds with one stone, as they say. But I always think it's a good idea till I get to about this point where I'm at right now and it's like halfway there. I'm sweating a little bit now, but it's kind of like I've committed to it now, but it's all good, get the steps in, but yeah, prep is getting tiring, I'm getting to the point now where it's kind of, we're pushing now, so I'm finally at the point where my body's like responding more, so now I can actually push it, whereas before it just wasn't doing much, but um, now we're pushing a bit more, so my expenditure is high, and it's I think it's like three o'clock and I'm still just one meal in so probably eat like my next meal after this PT and then wait it out again because it's just my next two meals are just chicken and veg so that's not really gonna fill a gap so just try and keep busy in between my meals and just get on with it but yeah that's prep for you I enjoy the struggle I enjoy the challenge <laughs> We just keep pushing.
this is chicken and potatoes made interesting on prep all the veggies Auto clock. I've had the supplements that I always have before bed at the moment so as you can see there's a lot of stuff in there that just helps to relax. Um, I have been having this sleepy tea. I just got this from Aldi but I'll either have that or the Conte sports like sleep supplement um, just because sleep is sleep and recovery is just a big focus now. Um, we just need to rest. Um, but yeah, it's auto clock, so that means thank you and good night. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And sorry, it's been so long since the last one. Um, but I am going to try and keep these more regular. Um, but I just don't get. It's hard. <laughs> I've committed to it now, but. It's hard work filming and to be honest my life isn't that exciting but I have committed to it and I will stick with it so you will be getting more videos. Um, but yeah just a big thank you to everyone that has been watching and supported all the videos so far. Liked, subscribed, done all that stuff um, and yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I guess I will see you on the next time. That was going so smoothly. I guess I will see you on the next video. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again and catch you later. So it's actually a completely different day now. It's actually like a couple, quite a few days later than what I filmed previously in this video. Um, but I've actually just got back from another trip down to Stackhouse. Um, to see Cass and do some posing and train there and obviously the last video I did was filming that and I just thought it would be quite interesting to just show you a comparison of the last time I went compared to today so I worked out it was actually 10 weeks ago that I last went to see Cass and I'm just going to leave the picture here to start with because I think the picture just says it all like you can see how much has changed um like my whole physique just everything has kind of just come to life a bit more um so there's been a lot of big changes um and yeah I don't think I actually mentioned earlier that currently I'm about six no about seven weeks out I'm trying not to think about it too much about seven weeks out from show number one now um and things are starting to get interesting which is exciting um, but yeah, it was so good to see Cass and just fine tune the little details. Like, as I said before, like the smallest little tweaks just make such a difference. And now my physique is changing. I can slightly like alter poses to just fit my body a bit more and just make it look better. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would add this in at the end because it's always interesting to see. And, you know, um, things are moving quite quick now. Um, I had like my check-in feedback today and the potatoes you saw in the last clip they are no longer on plan <laughs> uh, at the moment we are definitely starting to dig now so food has been dropped cardio is up um so like rest day my only carbs for that day are 50 gram oats in the evening and then training day i just have carbs pre post and for my last meal um so it's not a lot of food I'm on daily cardio now, 40 minutes every day and 45 minutes rest days, 15,000 steps. Um, so yeah, we are digging. This is the fun part. This is where it gets exciting. It's where the magic happens. So yeah, if you are still watching and you've made it to the end of this video, I feel like I'm going to have talked a lot. So I apologise if I have just rambled on a bit, but... I just wanted to update you all on everything because a lot has changed since the last video and I just thought it's just nice to just 
update you on everything that's happened and the plans going forward. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you next time.